Hi, Misha here, and this is an, another kind of which would you prefer, which one do you like video for Patreons and the personal channel only. Of course, here's the Hellion, and here it is with the, uh, the, uh, Knox Blackhawk grip that was suggested, which I completely agree both fits the gun better, feels better, and just overall goes with the vibe better. But there was one other grip type that was suggested, so I want to swap this out for that, and we'll see. There's basically two criteria. One, which one looks more like the original VHS-2 pistol grip? And then number two, which one just kind of feels more comfortable, better to shoot with? Because, you know, even if it looks right, if it feels like crap... Hey, it's still, it's not worth it. So with that, let's swap it out and see what you think. Alright, from the Blackhawk, the Knox grip, to the Burger and Thomat, the B&T AR-15 compatible grip, which is on several of their guns. One thing I learned, you need the longer screw that... Came with the Knox grip or the original. The BNT screw is slightly shorter and is too short to engage with the small little square threaded lug that's in the receiver or the frame here. So keep that in mind. I do like how well this fits up front and down below. There's very little gap here. But then you get to the back, and we have more of one right there. There's also a bit of a cavity back here. I thought this had a longer tang on it, but really comparing them... No? This has about the same tang. I don't know why I thought that. So the only kind of thing that doesn't fit is right here. I mean, it fits perfectly tight. It's a sl more slender grip, but it does have a storage compartment inside, whereas this is hollow. So, there they are. I'm going to kind of handle this and dry fire it for a bit. I would go test fire it, but one, it's about midnight right now. Two, I'm in town, not out of the cabin, so neighbors may not appreciate it. On the other hand, I am recording this on a Friday night, so maybe I can just, you know, pass it off as a party. What do you think? Anyway, I'll uh, come back in about two seconds for you, and probably an hour or two for me. Well, after fingering my Hellion for a couple hours, that would kind of give my impressions of the new grip, the BNT grip, kind of overlaying the... Knox grip here. It does overlap in the front, whereas this is pretty much flush coming up to the trigger. That's why it does actually have a shorter tang, even though the tangs themselves seem to be about the same length when you lay them flush. This actually sits further forward, meaning, yeah, this one comes back a little further, which may or may not be a positive. Again, it does come forward more so the Knox grip goes more forward and the BT grip a little further back height they're about the same width this is of course much thicker and it's uh, more rounded this is a much more slender grip it actually is almost perfectly the same width as the base the grip here. One thing I really do like, and it is mostly cosmetic, but it's a little practical too. This is just a hollow bottom grip, like a standard kind of A2. Nothing wrong with that, but I do like the sealed up look more, and it does give me a, st a storage compartment because there's no other storage on this gun right now. Most of my other bullpups have some stowage in the buttstock, 
the AUG, the, even the Devor. The Devor SAR even has storage in the pistol grip too. Not much, but it's enough for a battery or a pull through or a sight tool. Because of the adjustable stock on the Hellion, we, uh, we don't have that. So, I, uh, what I usually do when I'm familiarizing myself with a gun, I just sit out in the yard, listen to a book or something, or YouTube, and just handle something, kind of familiarize myself. I've always done that my whole life. So, I messed with the grip, both single-handed and two-handed with the forearm, and also with stock fully extended and fully in, and with the magazine in and out, just to kind of get the feel all which way. I even did it left and right-handed. Again, only dry firing. Sorry. Get on me. Kick. So what do I think of the B and T grip now over the Nox? Okay. Just based on feel alone, I think I like the Nox a bit more. With the rounded sides. And I do like how it meshes up a little better here, cosmetically. But in all other ways, cosmetically, I like the B and T grip. It's slender. It matches kind of the slim profile of the gun. And it feels like it's made of the same polymer. Whereas this, while it's made of perfectly good polymer, has a different texture to it a bit. It's nothing crazy, but... It seems to stick out a bit more, in my opinion. And even though this is a little more slender, and thus a little bit less ergonomic to me, it doesn't get in the way of just handling and dry firing. Although, again, I would like to try shooting it, because I have fired this gun several times with the Nox grip. So, yeah, on the cosmetic front... I'm liking this a lot more. On the ergonomics, it's almost 50-50, with maybe a slight edge to the Nox grip, but I don't think it's enough of an edge to warrant me switching back. But this is just kind of first impressions. What do you think? It's kind of what we're here for anyway. I do these kind of which would you do videos because, well, obviously I can't see, so that's one major thing that I can't really decide with and that you can and so your help is much appreciated and respected you do help me a lot in fact a couple of weeks ago I asked you about 1911s and here's the one I decided to go with talked to several people I did reach out to Matthias as a couple of commenters suggested and a couple of local people that are into 1911s and in the end I just felt more comfortable with this gun as far as it having the original finish and barrel. I did swap out the polymer or Bakelite grips that it originally came with for these double diamond grips. But yeah, they have some wear, but it seems like it kind of matches the wear of the bluing. And this does have the fancier uh, font to it. But anyway, I just thought I would say this is what I picked, and I greatly appreciate everyone's input. It really did help out. So now, yeah, I'm kind of asking you, which of these grips, first and foremost, do you think looks more like the original VHS-2 grip? I know we'll probably never be really able to get a perfect one unless someone maybe 3D prints an exact copy, which is not always possible. But, uh... With that said, which one do you think replicates it better? And just generally speaking, looks better. Second, just from a shooting, ergonomics, aesthetics point of view, and quality point of view, which one would you go with? The Knox Blackhawk or the BNT AR15 slash APC grip? 
know what you think. And this is one I need to get back out to the range. Really did enjoy, enjoy shooting the Hellion. Honestly, more than I thought I would. It's a darn fine gun. But then again, Croatia, well, they make some neat stuff. So with that, I think I'll let you go. It's getting late, or rather early at this point. And uh, I'd like to turn in. Again, please feel free to comment below. And uh, yeah, just let me know which one you prefer and why. And for those on Patreon, hope everyone's having a good week. And for those on my personal channel, yeah, I'll have some new model videos up soon. I've already recorded a couple more today. Just need to drop him in the editor as, as time permits. This is Misha, and catch you very soon next time.